So welcome back to using Magia. This is part two and today we're going to be having a look at software. All right, so in the previous episode, we were talking about the look and feel of the desktop and we got it looking a little bit nicer as far as icons, wallpapers and theming is concerned. Now, this time we're gonna be having a look at software. So what software is good to install and how to go about doing that in a way that's, that's efficient in the long term. Now, basically when it comes to using Linux based operating systems, uh, there's, a th there's this thing called repositories and essentially that is what a lot of Linux distributions are built around. Now basically what a repository is, is it's a database of software that's available on a particular server that the system will go out and contact every now and again to see if there's, to compare the versions of software that they have already installed on the system to the versions that are available on the server. And then if those, if those versions don't match, then the system will go out and try to pull down the latest uh, packages on that server to install them onto the system so that your system has the latest software installed. Now that also means that that is how you install software normally. And generally speaking, Linux distributions and Magia included give you a way to easily install, search and manage the applications or the packages that are on your system. Now, in order to do that, let's start out again with the welcome screen. Because the welcome screen is designed to give you a hand as a new user in Magia, it has an applications tab here, which has all of the recommended applications that the Magia team suggests that you install from the outset. And to be honest, I would agree with their choices. So you can see here, you've got audio multimedia codecs, video multimedia codecs, flash, Skype, etc., etc., and you've got games and internet and video and audio graphics system and programming. All of these applications are very high quality. So I would suggest that you start here when it comes to finding apps that are gonna work on your new Magia desktop. Now, it also says here up the top that this is just a small selection of popular packages. For more, run the RPM Drake or the Add Remove software uh, dialog that I'll show you in a minute. But it also says, be sure you have enabled online repositories. Now, online repositories are those connections to the server that I was talking about earlier. So if you click on that, you see here it says configure media sources. And it explains what each of the three different sources of media are, the core, non-free and tainted. So it basically gives you a walkthrough about how to configure these media sources for the best location for you. So all you need to do is follow the directions that are on this little dialog box. So as you can see here, you need to go to edit software sources. So you give it a root password and you've got a media list here of all the different mirrors that are available. Now, the first time you run this, it will go out to the internet and fetch that mirror list so that you've got a list of servers to choose from. Then once it's downloaded that list, you can either select the mirror list that you prefer to use or you can just let Magia do it for you. If you do have a specific server that you want to use or that you know is close to you, like in my case, I know that I have the internode servers close to me, so I can simply tick and enable those ones. Now, in order to choose those ones specifically, you need to go to File, Add Specific Media Mirror, and then click Yes. It'll go out, fetch all of the available mirrors, and it will give you choices as to what is the best mirror to choose. Now I'm in Australia, so I go to AU, and you can see here there are three. So I will choose the internode mirror, and I am done. Now you can also see here that you've got the core, core updates, non-free release, non-free updates, and tainted release and tainted updates. And again, these boil back to what they explain here. So once you have ticked and enabled those different repositories, then you're all set to go with installing applications to your heart's content, including system updates. And I suggest that you start with the ones here in the welcome screen, as this is, this is gonna give you a pretty functional desktop once you've installed the ones that take your fancy anyway. So once you've installed the ones that you're happy with here, then you can take a look in RPM Drake, and that is the more fully featured software center that, that you can uh, install packages that might not necessarily be applications. So you can see here, you've got categories running down the left-hand column here of all the different software that you have to choose from. 
And let's say, for instance, you go into graphics, you see you've got 3D, editors and converters, photography, scanning, utilities, and viewers. And you can choose from those different categories and install software from those categories. Well, that'll be all from me in this episode of using Magia. In the next episode, we're going to be customizing the workspace and starting to integrate some of the online accounts that you have into the Magia or the KDE Plasma desktop on Magia 4. So thank you all for watching. Once again, if you like this video, then definitely hit the like button down below and subscribe if you like this content on a regular basis. You can find me on Twitter and Google Plus and Facebook. All of those links are down below so you can interact with me, ask me questions and that sort of thing. I will see you all in the very next episode. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.